everybody, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we are going to take a look at the classic, my favorite guitar instrument of all time, For the Love of God by Steve Vai. Now, uh, this is uh, some pretty simple melodies, and then obviously the guitar parts get uh, kind of ridiculous as it goes on. But um, we're going to break it down. Hopefully you'll be able to understand everything that's going on pretty well. We're going to start here with the... Uh, pretty much the main melody of the song so we're just gonna, it's kind of the verse of the song so it's gonna start here on your neck pickup all right and now the fingerings he uses kind of go like this it slides into the ninth fret on the D string with the second finger then the seventh fret on the G then he plays a tenth fret on the B string and then he replaces that finger with his um, second finger to slide it up two frets. Now this opening section is not supposed to be a lot of vibrato, if at all, on it. Um, he really starts digging in the second time through the verse. So, you know, just let the notes ring. I want to put just a tiny bit of vibrato every once in a while on it. The next part of the riff... That's your third finger hit the 17th fret, slide down to 15. Then a roll from the 12th on the B to the 12th on the G. Slide from 14 to 16 on the G. Then pick the 15th fret on the B string with your first finger and slide it down to the 10th fret. All right, so do what we just did all together three times. After that third time, do the second half again. And but this time instead of do it a little bit differently, still do the same slides, the roll, slide up to the 16th fret, and then pick that 16 a couple times. Slide it down to 14 and pick it. Alright, then we're gonna end the first verse like this. On to seven on the B string. Kind of pulls off to that seven. The hammers on from nowhere on the seventh, the ninth fret on the G string. And it takes seven on the G and slide it up to nine. Hit it again and slide it up to nine. All right. Now we go to the second verse. We're going to kick it into the bridge pickup now. And we're going to have some more vibrato here. And instead of doing the bend, I need a slide. He's going to do a bend. So we have... All right, so a lot, a set of slides, he's doing pull-offs or, or bends. So we have that first one. Then come up to the 15th fifth, the fret, pulse that bend and release on B string. That roll from B to, uh, on the B, B to the G string at the 12th fret again. Pulse that bend at the 14th fret on the G. Now we have kind of a, a, a big stretch here. Steve Oz got, you know, huge hands, so this is no problem for him. But put your first finger at the 10th fret, we're going to pull off. Instead of doing that slide, you're going to pull off from the 15th to the 10th. Gives it a little bit different sound. All together. Alright, do it again. This time it's a bend and release, bend and release. Now 
now when you do that little pull off from 15 to 10, the second time through, grab the, the whammy bar and just start de just slowly descending. Then let go of it and do another kind of hammer it on that 15 and pull back off to the 10. So it goes. All right, then we have this. That's a whole step. Bend up the 10th fret, pick it again and release. Then pick the 8th fret. Now when you pick the whole step bend of the 10 again, you're going to hit it at a harmonic point. It's like an F sharp harmonic. Mine's right in the middle of the neck pickup, so you find that note. That next part is bend and release at this 15th fret. Then we pick 12. Now you can pick this 12 twice. On the recording, it sounds like to me, he goes... He picks two different 12s and kind of ring, lets them ring together uh, two different B notes. So he goes the 12 and then the same note as the 16th fret on the G. Then up. Holds that bend at the 14th fret on the G. Then you're going to pick... You're going to do a slide. You're going to pick the 15, but hit the harmonic on it. And down to the 10, you hit the harmonic on that. And the last little phrase... Thus, hold that bend, then pick the 15 flat, same as before. While you're holding this bend at the 14th fret on the G, you grab those two harmonics. Mine are right between the two pickups, so. Alright, then you're going to end it the same way you did the uh, first one. All right, so those are the first two verses. Now, real quickly, anybody who wants to know the chords for, for those, it's real haunting chord progression, which makes this melody work so well. Um, we have, we're gonna start here, a little picking, but he's actually doing this on a sitar, uh, or a sitar sounding guitar or whatever. So, I don't have one handy, so we're just gonna do it on this guitar. It's an E minor add nine chord that he's picking first. So the whole part is this. Right, then it would just repeat that. So real quick, the chords are E minor add nine. It's just an E minor chord with a fourth fret on the D string there. So I'm just using my first finger and pinky to play those. Then the next, this is like an F major uh, sharp 11 chord. Uh, F major nine sharp 11. That's F major sharp 11. Add sharp 11 or something. So we just it's just an F major bar chord, but lift up your finger so the top two strings get the ring. Simple as that. Back to that E minor add nine. We'll go to A minor add nine. So it's basically that E minor chord. You move everything up um, you know, five frets. So we have a bar, full bar at the fifth fret, and then the second finger is at the seven, pinky's at the nine on the D. Back to the E minor add nine. Your seventh here, so it's just a your, uh, just a C major chord. Pick up your first finger. Back to that F chord. To the E minor, add nine. All right, the picking pattern he's doing. It's usually pretty much straight across, so vary it just a little bit, but it's just pretty much just picking six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, or he'll play six, five, four. Three, two, one, 
and skip the second string on the way back and just hit the third and the fourth. Especially on that E minor, he'll do that a lot. But on the F, he usually sticks with a straight across. Skip the second string there. The E minor add nine, he'll like to skip that string, second string too. He likes to end it with this that really haunting minor second interval. Then back to the the C chord, just pick straight across. Just pick all the way up and come back down, just sticking with the time. Alright, so in the next one we're going to take a look at the bridge and the new chord progression for that one. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.